Well, I'm Chris, and this is my 280Z hood scoop installation video. This is actually a 1973 Datsun Competition hood scoop that was installed by the dealer. This is where I got it from. It was 269 plus shipping, 327 total shipped to my house, and I got it really fast in about a week. So it's got these little screws. See how they glued the backers of polyester putty? Very cool. So 73 was a 240Z and did not have those scoops. This hood is off of my 1978 280Z. So this is hand laid fiberglass. It's gonna have imperfections. It's gonna need bodywork, real bodywork by somebody that knows what they're doing. So any scoop that you get, take it out of the box and look down the light and make sure it doesn't have any major distortions. This one looks perfectly fine, beautiful. So this particular scoop is not molded into the hood. It's supposed to have a line. So we need to get it as flush and perfect as we can. So nothing bad to say about the way it fits. We are gonna trim it down perfect. I want you to notice that gap. Very important to notice that gap if you're gonna do one of these cars. So it's rocking on there. We're gonna shave it down till it fits perfect. Not a big deal. This thing is a lot cooler than I thought it was. So right here, it's very important to pay attention to this. So it's got a gap right there. You push it down. So there's only a few pictures of this hood scoop on the internet. And the guy on the white car obviously pushed it down right there. What that does is it flattens the scoop line, but the hood curves. So when we put this on here, we want to keep that curve parallel with the curve of the hood. Because in that picture, his is like flat right here. And in my opinion, it looks screwed up. So on that flyer, it shows you where to cut your hood out if your engine bay temperatures are too hot. Do not cut the hood on the center. That is there for rigidity. This car already has vents right there, so we do not have to cut the hood out and I'm not gonna be cutting it out. So if I did cut this one out, I would probably cut two circles, about two and a half inch diameter circles right here that you wouldn't see. So I like the scoop because we can bend it right there to match that line. So depending on the hood scoop in the car, you need to take extra precautions mounting it. This one, we just eyeball it and use a tape measure to center it, no big deal. If we get it off a little bit, we elongate the holes that the stud or bolt go through and we just scoot over a little bit. Let's get this pushed back a little bit. 12 inches and 5 sixteenths, 12 inches and 3 eighths, so there we go, perfect. So we have reference marks right there, right there. So then you're gonna need some kind of paper, newspaper. It doesn't matter, we're just using this because it's big. So with that paper, we're creating a template for our holes because they're not exactly in perfect positions. They're sort of random. So we just need to make a template of the bolt holes. So you can do this anywhere. I just have it sitting on the hood so it's not wobbling around. Okay, so just mark it up and down. This will be up. So I'm just going to use a pencil and shade to transfer the bolt hole. Okay. All right, so remember we drew our lines right there. Boom, boom, perfect. So we're gonna need some drill bits, a center punch, a little reamer thing, and maybe some big washers. So I wrote up right there. Be super careful because these holes might not be in the same place. So you can't just use either side. So I guess you could tape this down if you wanted to. These freaking people, they put the screw holes in the wrong place. The screw hole needs to be more back here. So you have that the inner structure right here. So the hole should actually be back here. Let's just let's just do the front. We're not gonna do those. So the hood inner structure goes across the back, and those two bolts actually need to be placed back about a half an inch. These all clear and are safe to do. 
but we're gonna have to change the position of those always feel on your hood inner structure and make sure you can screw to it and if you're going to be able to access the back thing seems right All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go 5 16 You see how that hood is bulged out like that? So it threw my template off, and I want you to see how far off these two holes are. So learn from my mistakes. So our actual holes are about a half an inch off. I had to move them both. So whenever you install a hood scoop, you should be using big washers. So I guess if you get your holes perfect, you can use small washers, almost perfect medium washers. And if you screw yours up, just use big washers. So when you drill holes in metal, you have to prime it or it'll rust. Just prime the crap out of it. So whether I got the hole right or not, I would go ahead and put big washers on it and all of this will be painted to match when we're done. So we have the four up there on the front. I didn't get to put the back ones in because they're actually under that brace. So I need to take them out of the scoop and move them back and get them perfectly right in that area. So I'll have to do that later. Let's see how straight we got it. You're driving the car. That's what you're seeing. I still have to change the two bolts in the back. I decided to go flush right here. If you're doing one of these, remember to pop your scoop up in the middle and make those lines parallel. See how we got like that and then straight. Don't do it like that. So we may have to prop something up in the final video. So we have the four bolts on the front and we can fine tune it if it's not perfect. It has a very Camaro Z28 look to it or IROC Z, I don't know, one of those. So we're gonna have a hood restoration video where we get this thing completely done and painted or in sealer at least. And we're gonna be fine tuning that line. This scoop does not mold into it. We're gonna figure out what kind of sealant we're gonna put on it if we even use it. The back has to be contoured a little bit to the hood. But overall, I'm very, very impressed with this hood scoop. So this competition scoop fits any Datsun S30 chassis, 240Z, 260Z, and 280Z. And this is a dealer installed part. So if you wanted to run a scoop on your Datsun, this is the one that you should go with. So you are gonna have to do body work on that scoop, but you can see how we have not done any shaving or cutting it in any way. And you see how nice it hugs the front. I think it looks awesome. I can't wait to see all this one color. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.